Melo is 29, 5'7", 165 pounds, making his debut tonight here at Bushido Foreign Prize. Gomi is 25, 5'8", 165 pounds, 2 and 0 in Pride Fighting Championships. And again, going into this, the second bout, and yes, Boss and Quentin, that's bout in the best of three series between the Brazilian top team and Team Japan. It is 1-0 for the Brazilians. Paulo Filo earning the split decision over Akira Shoji in the last bout. 1-0. Let's go. Gomi's last fight lasted as long as uh, my relationships, boss. Six seconds, he destroyed Half Gracie at Bushido 3. I think Melo is hoping he lasts a little longer than that here tonight. What's wrong with your relationships? She saw you down below or what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. No respect for the Canadian. Okay, Melo and Gomi circle each other here. Going again through the feeling out process, which has been the order of the night. And five nice kick there delivered by Melo. Oh, that was hard. I feel that, that kick. And it was a good reflex by Gomi, by the way. He nearly missed, but he almost grabbed the leg. Oh. Look. It was so quick. I didn't but even see it. Was good. It was a good kick. Yeah, that, I heard it. Yep. Of course, Gomi. Nice uppercut Whoa. there by Takanori Gomi. Man, he swung from Kentucky. Gomi, of course, made his mark. Missing with the roundhouse was Melo. And again, Gomi showing uh, that hand of aggression here, guys. That boy, good. Uh, I see it right now. Good reflexes. Yeah. You know, when it comes to Gomi, it's his uh, striking and ground and pound, which are his biggest strengths. And he also possesses the stamina to go the distance. Melo, of course, from the Brazilian top team under the tutelage of the likes of Mario Sperry, the coach in his corner tonight. He's a veteran of deep Mecca FC and Chudo Brazil, his last victory, his last fight against Luciano Azevedo. Did you say his last victory was over Danny DeVito? <laughs> <laughs> no, guy? but the uh, Gomi's last fight was shorter than Danny DeVito. No, it was against Luciano Azevedo oh, okay. at Chudo Brazil in November. Oh, sorry. And sorry. speaking of Chudo, Gomi was uh, undefeated in the first five years of his career in Chudo, known as the undefeated king until he faced Finnish fighter Joaquim Hansen losing his welterweight title in August of 2003. His only other loss coming at the hands of the very talented BJ Penn. Oh, well. What was that? A slam. Was you that should a know. Sounds like a head hit the mat. Gomi desperately trying to pass the guard and gain side position. It was good. I saw a setup coming up. Yep. I'm not even a jiu-jitsu guy. Watch out, man. You get healed in the face like I did. And How is that cut coming? I see it's it's healing rather nicely. Though. I didn't get a cut from the heel. Oh, no, but if you did suffer a nasty gash, how is that? Uh, how are you doing? That's good. I got plastic surgery. So I'm doing good. The doctor in Pride, they have real good doctors in the back room, man. He stitched me up real good. Of course, you suffered that nasty gash uh, in the exciting finish of that fight with that slam heard around the world when you came down and accidentally, of course, headbutted his mouth, right? No, he headbutted me. Watching in slow motion, buddy. <laughs> I like. I, I I knew it was accidental. I'm not. Uh, yeah, he had casting me. aspersions anywhere. Yeah, at first I thought I had butted him, but he he had butted me when his head bounced off the off the mat. Like a basketball. Gomi looking to pass in the end, but uh, Melo keeping him in now. Yep, it's going to be a very difficult task to get his eye out of him. He actually had it in the beginning of the fight. Surprisingly. What what are they doing now? Is this um like playing chess? This is what the referee says, uh, okay, stop and get up. And don't do it too much, because otherwise you're going to get a red card. Okay. I like those shorts that the uh, Brazilian guy had Nice on. low kick by Melo. Melo. I like those shorts he got on. It's cool. It's cool to look good out there while you're fighting, too, you know? Yeah, it's always good. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes like it's a thing. thing. Yeah. 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 Gomi here showing a look of, okay, what are we going to do here, guys? It's Gomi kind of uh, giving that look of, uh, are you guys, are you, do you want to engage here or what? Let's do this thing. Did you call him Kobe? Gomi. Oh, okay. From the side. Wow, what a reflexes. Nice kick. Oh, and, oh, you're right. He almost catches it again, Bob. Yeah, and then, then he counters it with left straight right away. And look at the knee. Everything is on the right spot. Yeah, that kid got skills. Yep. 
What's his weight class, guys? He's 155 pound weight class, although he comes into the fight tonight at 165 pounds. Both of them are 165 tonight. Hey, I want to fight that Japanese guy. Would I be too big to fight him? Yeah, I, I think you're too big. Oh, okay, I'm too big. Maybe if you uh, lose like 30 pounds, oh, well, should be okay. That, that fight never happened. I don't want to shed no weight. Melo, a very versatile fighter. He's won yep. competitions in jiu-jitsu, Muay Thai, Valley Tudo, and submission fighting. His only loss coming to Bushido One participant, Dokon Jonasuke Mishima, deep eighth impact last year. And of course, uh, Mishima, very entertaining tonight as he defeated Marcos Aurelio early on here at Bushido Four. Gomi has a victory over Mishima in his career. Gomi has a lot of victories, huh? Oh, for sure. He's 16 and 2 in MMA with the only losses coming to Hansen and Penn. All right, that's pretty good. Henson? Oh, yeah, yeah. Henson. They... Joaquim Henson, the yeah, great yeah. finish fighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those guys are tough. Wow. Nice heel strike there by Bello. Yeah, those heels don't play. And those top 10 guys, they be doing it. Trust me. Oh, man, some uh, power in those kicks. Is Melo content to stay in the butt scoop position? I think the referee is uh, almost thinking about bringing him up, but uh, Gomi willing to wow. engage once again as he goes down and strikes Melo. The butt scoop position is pretty popular amongst the top team fighters. Yeah, jujitsu practitioners use it a lot for sure. Oh, okay. And now the referee finally will bring both of them back up to their feet. And give him a red card. He put, he put it in his face. I hate when they put it in your face. Yeah. Just, just hold it up. Don't put it in my face. Yeah, it's like like pointing somebody on his chest. Yeah. Like once touching I, him. I got one of those in a locker room once. <laughs> so Melo has drawn the red card from the referee. Nice right hand there by Gomi. Yep. Fast. Oh, and he misses. Does Melo with a wild oh, left. Nice, nice knee. And here we go. Mixing it up nicely. Wow. It's Takanori Gomi. Yep, there's nothing I can say. Look at this. He's yeah. moving unbelievable. I think Japan going to have their first victory tonight. Yep. <laughs> Past the halfway point into the final four minutes of this opening round. And Gomi again doing a great job as Melo takes him to where he is probably most comfortable on the ground into his guard. It's an open guard now, but so far... Gomi has had little difficulty in asserting dominance from this position as well, guys. Why well, he don't just knee him in his butt right now? That's what I would do. It would hurt. If I was that small, you know what I'm saying? Those small guys, you get them a little, little bit of leg. Just knee him in the butt. Hey, listen, a lot of knees there on the back. It's going to hurt. Yeah. It's going to take a stall. And knee him in the tailbone. <laughs> that hurts, man. They should have a rule against that. I know, You huh? can't go blind, no? <laughs> That's what they say, yeah? Yeah. yeah. You got to be careful what you do. It There's a hammer fist. May lose your knee. Now Gomi easily gets back up to his feet. Wide base there by Gomi. Gomi should just stand up here and uh, resume with the, the, the stand up game. I mean, he's doing really good at it. Yeah. There's another hammer fist just really opening up now is Gomi. Whilst in the guard of Melo. It's definitely been Takanori Gomi's round as we are into the final three minutes of round one in this second fight in the best of three series between Team Japan and Brazilian top team. Oh, that was a good hit there. Melo stunned him. Hello. Yeah. And oh, look at the reflexes of Gomi again, boss. Whoa. Right, every time he attempts Everything a kick, nice oh, by Gomi. Coming, and then. a nice uppercut oh, as well. This is his next change. Beautiful. Man, this is a scrap right here. Gomi mixing it up with the fists and the knees. Melo. Oh. Trying to neutralize the attack while on the ropes. That oh. is Gomi. Look with the knees and the fists. Oh, oh right to the body. That's over. The ground. He should get up. He should get up. He should stand up because he's hurting yeah, to the body. A great job of a passing. Yes, and yeah. now there's yeah. the knees from the side mount and the right hands, the hammer fist. Quentin, we're seeing a dismantling here, courtesy of Takanori Gomi. Are you impressed with this I'm Japanese impressed. superstar? I'm impressed with the Japanese guy. Unbelievable! I have, I've, I've been speechless the whole fight. I'm impressed. What a good fighter! Wow. 
very impressed. The fight is I like tough that. via strikes. Really eight good. Eight minutes and seven seconds of the opening round, and here we see it again. He'll surf the corner, much to the delight of the crowd here at the Rainbow Hall in Nagoya. And what a story Takanori Gomi is offering here in Pride. He made his debut overwhelming Shooter Box Academy's Jason Costa with strikes at Bushido 2 last February. His last fight, destroying the previously unbeaten Hal Gracie in six seconds. And tonight, he decimates Fabio Mello. Let's go to the replay, Boston Quinton. Look at this. Everything is a hit on the money. He gets hit in, in between, but he still keeps focused. Hitting all the targets, the body, and he took him down with that one to the body. Watch this. Here we're gonna go. Big knee coming. It's the up. body shots, guys. I always say it. There we go. One more, and now it comes. There it is. And now that's gonna be the oh, knockout. Good. See? As I'm telling you, if you get tired, the body's getting weak. Bang! Hit it. Look at this, Quentin. This is your style, man. That's my style, right there, huh? It's called whoop your ass style. Whoop he, your ass. Oh, like he's been God. training it. The best Very of three impressive. series now between Brazilian top team and Team Japan now knotted at one apiece, which sets up the dramatic third and final fight of the night. The main event, also a rematch between Antonio Rogerio Nogueira and Kazuhiro Nakamura, but for Takanori Gomi. His star continues to rise here in Pride Fighting Championships. Tonight, tiebreaker.